Hi everyone, Mandarin here, and today I'm going to show you a cool little trick inside of ZBrush. It, uh, it consists of using the transpose line as a measuring tool. So, uh, how to do that? It's quite simple, just press W to enable the transpose. So right now I have the Gizmo 3D enabled, which is the new way of moving stuff around in ZBrush. Uh, that's not what we are going to use uh, today. We're going to use the transpose line, so to enable the line, just click on the Gizmo 3D button right now, or press Y on your keyboard, boom, and now I have a line, which I can set up in any direction I want, here, right there, cool. So what I see right now is that this line here on, top, on the top left is 6.2531 units long. So, it doesn't mean anything right now, but what I can do is uh, change the length of this line, not the length of the line, but the length of the units of the line, just to, to make it uh, the length I want, basically. So right now, I see here, if I trace the line from the top of the bottom to the red cube, of the red cube, I have two units, because the red cube by default, when you create a cube by default in ZBrush, it's two it's two units long. Uh, it doesn't uh, make sense to us. We want to count in head. So luckily, uh, the red cube is one head high. So what I'm going to do is I want to tell ZBrush that the length of the current length of my transpose line is one head long. So I, to do that, I go to preferences, and inside the transpose unit sub palette here. I have my calibration distance, which is 2 right now, but I make it 1 by just clicking on it and typing 1, press enter. And so now if I set distance units, I click on set unit, I just type in head. And now I see here on the top left corner that uh, my transpose line is now one head long. So uh, I can verify that quite quickly. So if I just uh, trace it from the top to the bottom of my uh, ruler I made it's now 7.4999 which is quite close to the 7.5 heads uh, model and it's cool so now uh, if I made it correctly my head should be quite close to one head one head long perfect and so now I can just basically measure anything I want. So my clavicle should be two thirds of a head. So it's now 0 0.67, it's okay. Yeah, so basically here it is. How to use the, our transpose line as a measuring unit. So I'm gonna measure my pelvis. Yeah, 1.26, it's quite okay. So yeah, it was my little trick. It's not my trick, but it's a, qu a cool trick inside ZBrush. Hope you hope you enjoyed it. Bye.